welcome to the show this week and it's been a it's it's been a week you had a little bit of weather we did we we did um w- would you like a little uh we had a hurricane hurricane dorian came through my area and um would you like a little look see at at what what happened let's let, let's go let's take sure. a, let's take a little tour did the snail make it the sna- i i don't know the snail is gone oh. Well, I hope so. Here, here's a little tour of the aftermath. There's my backyard. Um, what you're seeing there is um, two 40 to 50 year old oaks, I believe, because they've been there at least that long. Um, one fell down, knocked down the other one, which knocked down another tree, and they knocked the tops out of three more trees. Like nature's dominoes. And um, that was where th- that that big hole in the ground. That's part of where my my fence used to be. Um, there, there's another part because I I had just put that fence in about two years ago because we have Loki. I didn't want the dog to get out, so I paid to put the fence in. And now, now the there's 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 more parts of the fence. It's the gate I mean, actually <laughs> survived. In place of a fence, you now have trees. I have. Yeah, but um, yeah, there's there's more of it. It's just it's a you see the dents in in the poles where the yeah, it's just that's a whole big old mess, a very expensive big old mess that I'm going to have to deal with because not only that, something hit our roof, and there's a leak now, so I'm going to have to to fix that, and uh. And there was a runaway trampoline. Runaway would entail ground travel. <laughs> a flyaway <laughs> trampoline. No, no. What happened was our neighbors, as I went around my yard very, very thoughtfully, very courteously, and removed or secured any object that could go flying. As you should. And then around 2 a.m. on the night of the hurricane, I look out the window and there's a trampoline humping my shed. Trampolines get lonely. And then a few hours later, like about five, the trampoline's gone. It's 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 had it it went back to, it went back to its home planet. It's yeah. vanished. I would 100% watch a Pixar movie about the adventures of that trampoline <laughs> as it like travels cross country to find itself. Maybe it has like a little recycling bin friend. Maybe like a stray cat. The trampoline just it's gone. It's just that's what hurricanes do. They just it and you know what? There appears to be another one forming. Of course. Around, I mean, it's... around the Bahamas, Cuba area. That's that's gonna be super duper. Hurricane season continues till November. It used to be maybe we'd have one of these every five years or so, but it's been literally the last five years. Every Dorian summer. made it all the way up to Nova Scotia. It kicked the crap out of Canada. And they're in Canada. They're not used to this. Shit. They're like, what the fuck what the, the hurricane? Yeah, what? What, <laughs> like, what are you? Are you lost? What are you doing here? Oh, hey, what's it's a, bit, a little bit windy out today. Uh. Better get back inside, cause uh, get a little, a little blowy. <laughs> one, one, one of our viewers said her. Week. Dorian what? ignored us entirely. One, one of my viewers said um, her aunt's roof is gone. She was in Nova Scotia. Oh my god! I know, right? I am tired of this. I am so and I tired. Through, I don't know if you use the app Time Hop. It pulls like your old Facebook and Twitter posts from a certain day, however many years ago. It's a great way to remind yourself of your bad dating choices. But the last two years, this week, we, you and I have been talking about you having hurricanes. I'm- like, legit annual to the week i'm 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 about done with this bullshit so 
But hey, we hmm? Yeah. We've got we've got other bullshit, however. Because, you know a regular garden variety bullshit. We deal in bullshit. We do indeed traffic in bullshit. Each week, Catherine. Radio Dead Air audience go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And um, let's kick off this week with, of course, a hurricane story. And it's Florida, because of course. All right, one of the things that's become a staple of hurricane season, at least here in the Southeast, is sandbags. Yeah. They will give you, the, the government will give you sandbags. Some places they fill them for you. Some places you have to fill them yourself. But they will pretty much say, here are the sandbags. I want to stress this. Before every hurricane, there is some location, at least, at least in Charleston, this happens every time, there is some location, they will give you free, I want to repeat that, free sandbags which makes this first story just baffling in the extreme how do you how do you do this how do you fuck up this bad florida man arrested for stealing sandbags from construction site ahead of hurricane dorian okay Thalen A. Lewis, 43, and Joseph Colombo Jr., 45, old enough to know better. Like our age. Are accused of looting during a state of emergency. Now, here's what happens when they call an emergency in the state. They stop screwing around. If you are out after curfew or if they catch you stealing something, the penalties go way up because we have looting laws. And they take that crap seriously. Um, one man, according to uh, Volusia County Sheriff's Office, one man was spotted by a sheriff loading bags into a red Chevrolet truck, while a second man acted as a lookout. So they knew what they were doing was wrong. Yeah. Volusia and Colombo were both arrested on scene and charged with theft during a declared state of emergency. Colombo was arrested on an injunction violation for possessing a firearm. Well, at least they got him before he could shoot at the hurricane. And the story even points out more than 100,000 sandbags have been distributed across the county over the past few days. They were giving them away. Yeah, like, why are you stealing shit that you can get for free anyway? Is it like an adrenaline thing? You, you are going, you are going to jail for stealing something they were giving away. Yeah. What the shit? What the fuck? How do you... Wow, you fucked up that badly. I thought Tara was in her early 30s. Oh, bless you, child. Oh. No, <laughs> Tara's no. 42. Yeah. But I... I how... Yeah, that's a, that's a real dumb crime. That's astonishing. I mean, it, worse comes to worse... You can make your own makeshift sandbags. They might not be very good, but you get... It doesn't have to be good quality sand, right? Can you just dig your backyard? If you really want to, get four or five ply Walmart bags, fill them half full of sand, you got a sandbag. It'll kind of work. You you might be okay. You're just doing them for weight. You're not trying to, like, create a beautiful beach. Well, you're not just using them for weight. You're using them for waterproofing. Which right. is, there's a way of, but yeah, you're just, you're just, it's just sand and it's sand and a bag and you stole it when they were giving it. That's the part that's just driving me nuts. Yeah. They were gi- literally, pretty- I mean, what was it? No, we won't take the free sandbags. That's socialism. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. We'll earn our sandbags the old fashioned way. <laughs> Theft. Well, you say theft. Others can call it sovereign citizen. Half, half of one, yeah. six yeah. of one, half a dozen of another. Um. So yeah, you idiots. You, you, you're going to just imagine going to. What are you in for? Stole sandbags. 
You know they give those away, right? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that's going to be the next... That's the entire sentence. Every time somebody comes into jail, what are you in for? Stole sandbags. You know that... Yes, I know they give them away. Where I have been informed. <laughs> okay, Count Zero said he paid the iron price for the sandbags. <laughs> <laughs> oh... <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. Next time. Okay. This next story. I want to stress, and I've been bad about this in the past, and I've tried to be a better person. I do not tend, I, I try to avoid making fun of people's physical traits and appearance, because yeah. how, how you physically look, you can't do much about. I'll make fun of your haircut. Right. I'll make fun of your janky eyebrows. Because those are choices. Right. So, you know, I don't like making fun of people, how they look. You know, I like do. a crooked nose, that's not your fault. Like, for... If that sharpie eyebrows, that's a choice. For example, let's say um, you are a 70-something-year-old man who um, has a spray tan that looks the same color as I stained my deck. But except, just, <laughs> except like, for instance, just hypothetically, Sorry. except just around your eyes, just which are all here, like pale pink so it's kind of like this fleshy thing it's it's weird yeah it's so it weird. looks like you're wearing weird gross it's hypothetical goggles out of a horror movie so i want you to understand when we look at this next picture why we are going to laugh our our asses off just because um brace yourselves everybody <laughs> I'm a fucking psychic. <laughs> wow. What was I just saying? <laughs> sharpie eyebrows, eyebrows yeah. Because they're drawn on with a fucking sharpie. Wow. And the, she she also drew around her. That's that's not how you do lip liner. No. Oh oh my god. I mean that. Wow. That's like last place on RuPaul's Drag Race makeup. It's like she she cell shaded her face. It's like she's trying to do drag Elvira, but she's failed. Utah woman found with meth tries to ID herself as daughter. Sure, honey. Thor to say a Utah woman arrested on suspicion of driving with a suspended license and having illegal drugs tried to persuade an officer she was her daughter. Probable cause statement says the 38-year-old Heather Elaine Garcia repeatedly identified herself as her 20-year-old daughter during the traffic 20. stop. <laughs> okay. Garcia finally acknowledged she lied after the officer noticed she didn't look like the photo he found of her daughter. You know they can Google this shit, right? Say. She'd be like, oh, well, I'm not wearing makeup in that picture. <laughs> Because God knows what she actually looks like. I also want to point out this woman is younger than both of us. Yeah. That's a hard 38. Wow. Yeah. But like, you can even see bad eyebrows just make me crazy, man. Like, I know, right? You can see where her brow bone actually is. And then her brows are a full quarter inch above that. She's, she's like drawn on these like Vulcan eyebrows. And they don't go like... Who has eyebrows all the way in here? At that point, just connect them. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like woolly willy. Um, police say there were several arrest warrants for Garcia. The officer found methamphetamine in her car. Okay, so I get what she was trying to do. She was flummoxed. She was in a pinch. She was just like, um, I'm not her. I'm my daughter. You're your daughter. Yes, I'm my daughter. The fucked up thing to do to your daughter, by the way. What if they bought it? Now your daughter has a record. I know, right? Serious. You were willing to sell out your own kid. <laughs> well, yeah, what are they going to do? Book you and be like, okay, you come in for this court appearance and then she doesn't show up. Guess who gets yeah, a freaking... Dubs, the fingerprints aren't going to match either. Guess who gets a bench warrant? 
when when the daughter when when she doesn't show up, it's the daughter. Oh, that is, that is just rude. Oh, that makeup's just making me sad. <laughs> it is amazing. That's not even. Who talking. has a liner on the bottom? If there are any ladies watching, there's a thing that somewhere along the line women were taught to do. They can put black eyeliner just on the bottom. If you're looking to add 10 years to your face, by all means, do that. If you don't want to add 10 years to your face, please stop. Because it's kind of like that Egyptian thing, only not, you know, like yes. the, the, that old pharaoh kind of. Just do no makeup, but just black eyeliner? No. Yes. Oh. And you can. I'm not going to tell you you can't. There's no law. I'm just saying you're not doing yourself any favors. Shame on this lady. That's your daughter. Thanksgiving's going to be... sell out your own daughter? Thanksgiving's going to be awkward. Yeah. Mom, did you try to get a bench warrant out for me? Um. Well, baby, they were going to arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> Mother of the year. Um. Okay, this next one is startling for a number of reasons. Hey, Simba. Let, let, let's just go through this one piece by piece because I'm a little surprised. Um, <clears throat> woman steals $28,000 Costco diamond ring after swap. Let's pause there. Costco sells $28,000 diamond ring. Seriously? Wow. Costco. If you have that kind of money to spend on diamonds, why are you buying your jewelry at Costco? Costco? Who? I mean, sure, yeah, you want to get like a, a gross of of ramen. Yeah. Or, or if you have, if you have twenty eight grand to throw down on a ring, take your ass to Tiffany's. <sighs> twenty eight. Who? I did not know that Costco sold $28,000 diamond rings. <laughs> Authorities say she a woman stole a $28,000 diamond ring from a New Jersey Costco by replacing it with a cheaper ring she had stolen from a different Costco. Isabella Colano is <laughs> facing a theft charge. Authorities say the 49-year-old uh, Nutley woman stole a $2,000 ring Sunday from a store in Wayne. She then traveled to the other store in Clifton and asked to see the other ring. Colano allegedly gave employees the cheaper ring in return and left the store with the more expensive one before workers realized what happened. Authorities eventually found Colano at her home. This I love. Uh, but couldn't find the ring. They say she eventually told them she hid it on a dead-end street in a nearby town and officers found it. So, so not only did she steal this ring, she said like, little treasure hunt shit. Was there a little map with an X <laughs> and a dotted line? I'm not sure which is more pathetic. This one or the guy with the sandbags? She's... This one's kind of slick. <laughs> she sent them on a quest. I don't understand how those employees didn't know the difference. They're caught. $28,000 fucking ring is, no, is not going to be a fucking around ring. Do you, like, know, that's... How, do you know how they don't know the difference, Tara? <laughs> They work at Costco. No, Costco is like one of the best right. employers in the country. Yeah, even their part-time cashiers get 15 an hour and full benefits. Okay, but yeah, but you they know, don't fuck around. I, I don't exactly think Costco has a has a jewelry training program. I don't know. I mean, if they're selling thirty thousand dollars shit, they better. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I'm not seeing an employee at Costco with like one of those magnifying eyes in the back, looking at the cut of the diamond. Be like, if oh, they're selling $28,000 shit, they better. $28,000. How, how, this, that, I don't know what's the more startling part about this story that she managed to try, to, she did get out of the store with it. Or, do you even know how many gallons of salsa you can buy at Costco at $28,000? <laughs> <laughs> and you say, you're, you're laughing, she's saying gallons. No, no, she's not kidding. They sell it no. in the gallon jugs. Fill a fucking swimming pool with salsa for $28,000 at Costco. <laughs> I, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could. I mean, at least she had a plan. I'll grant her she that. Did. 
Like, I gotta say, that's a slick con. I don't know how she found a $2,000 and a $28,000 ring that looked enough alike to make that work. That's not working for me. And then she had the she had the the, the forethought to, to to ditch the evidence and wait for the heat to die down. Yeah. But they still got her. They probably had her on on video. You added eighteen thousand four hundred eleven files to Dropbox just now. The fuck are you doing? Not just now. Earlier today. Or- eighteen thousand. <laughs> Sorry, I get little notifications when he does stuff in Dropbox. Ah. <sighs> Um, this is a combination of, of a, a, a thing that keeps happening, as well as the balls on this guy. Um, we've had all, we have had a rash over the past few years of people breaking into other people's houses to cook. Yeah. And we're not talking meth, we're talking like grilled cheese. A little hungry. They're breaking in, so this guy... But this one, this one has a little, little bit of a spice to it. Um, Was he cooking burritos? Drunk Marine breaks into home to cook food. Tells homeowner, go back to sleep. He's not going to be a Marine much longer. A 19-year-old Marine <laughs> broke into a Safety Harbor home Tuesday morning. Began cooking and eating food. Telling the homeowner to, quote, go back to sleep. Police say Gavin Krim broke into a house on Huntington Boulevard around 4.15 a.m. and began cooking inside the home. When confronted by the homeowner, Krim reportedly told them to go back to sleep. When the homeowner threatened to call the police, the report says Krim ran out of the house. He was soon found by police hiding in a thick wooded and swampy area behind the property. Most reports indicates Krim was under the influence of alcohol. 19 would suggest that he's still in some level of training, right? What? Oh, no. 19? No, I guess he could be like... They'll take different. you at 18. They'll train you on up. You're a jarhead. Yeah, they took you at 17. Yeah. Yeah. Um, however... Also, like, is he living on base? Is the base food that bad? <laughs> also, yeah. however, not legal to drink. 19 years old. You might be I mean, the military. They kind of look the other way at that. Dan said that, like, they were like, "You, we might send you to die. Have a fucking beer." Yeah. <laughs> okay, but we might send you to die. Have a beer. It's not have a beer. Go invade the civilians' homes. Right. And make I a sandwich. Not gonna look the other way at that. Yeah, they get real mad when MPs get involved. <laughs> <laughs> Dan wanted to be an MP, but apparently he was too short. Yeah. It was too short to be an MP. I didn't know there was a height requirement, but he was a little short to be a stormtrooper. Yeah. <laughs> Literally a thing I was told. No, seriously. It's just the the nerve of the bastard to go, fuck yeah, go back to sleep. We're going to make yeah, a macaroni. Seriously. Fuck no. Fuck you. You got to catch up, go sleep. I mean, it's... And he knew he was in trouble. I'm going to call the police. Okay, bye-bye. And, like, the Marine Corps didn't really fuck around. I, you know what happens when I've gotten drunk, really drunk, and desired food? My you ass finds my... House? I, what? You go to Waffle House? I go to Waffle House. I was about <laughs> to say exactly the thing. My ass finds myself in Waffle House at 3 in the morning. Just like a person. The buzz is coming down. I've got the black coffee in front of me. I've got a whole bunch of hash browns. I've got my carbs. I've got my caffeine. Smothered, covered, slapped and fucked or whatever. (laughs) (laughs) It's like they have like like a whole dialect for their hash browns that I don't understand. It sounds kinky. John says the few, the proud, the guy in the drunk tank. I mean, yeah, you know what? If if I if I'm drunk and I need food, Waffle House is there. Not someone's house. Not someone's house. The Waffle House. You don't just randomly wander into somebody's house and start cooking. It's like this is as good a place as any. I mean, what if they don't have food you like? 
What are you going to do then? Yeah, what if they're like vegans? We're going to get angry comments from vegans. We're going to get so many angry comments. They just, just, so many, so many angry comments. Uh, what if Chef Boy RD? Hmm? What if all they have is Chef Boy RD? Well, that's fine. You don't even know where Donny Osmond is. <laughs> Uh, this next one, wow. Okay, I I don't know. Okay, I have a different experience because I have the Southern Baptist experience. I don't know how the Catholic churches worked when it came to the board structure and the, the you know like the the deacons and all that sort sort of stuff. Did you have? Do you have deacons? Well, oh, we deacons. What what board? Like when you have the like the, I don't I want to call them like what the civilian staff? No, the, like the non church staff like from the community because in the southern baptist community it gets it's like it's very cutthroat it's surprisingly amazingly cutthroat oh catholics don't give lay people any power okay yeah we we do and um lay people don't get to make decisions that's we, why they won't let women be priests my people are making decisions my people do and um it's not a good idea because um shit like this happens lay people are non-clergy argument lay is anybody who's not an ordained nun or priest in the catholic church argument between west virginia's pastor's wives ends with gunfire in church parking lot Ooh, that's some hair <laughs> it is well that is that's some church hair look at their church hair um, a pastor's wife in West Virginia has been charged with reckless endangerment after allegedly firing a gun in a church parking lot. Melinda Fry Tony, 44, is accused of pulling out a pistol that accidentally discharged during an argument with another pastor's wife. Tony is the wife of New Life Pastor Earl Tony, while the other woman, Lori Haywood, is married to the New Life Youth Pastor David Haywood. So we have like some friction at the different levels of. Uh, I, I guess he's like the 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 lieutenant or the sub commander. Um, Fayette Sheriff's Detective Kevin Willis told the Beckley Register Herald the animosity for, between the two women had been simmering for some time. This was the mistake. This next line was this mistake. The husbands thought the women should publicly bury the hatchet to avoid additional strife. Husbands like to do that because they don't understand that men are different than women. <laughs> Men can just yell at each other for an hour and you're cool. Or like you punch each other for a few minutes and you're cool. I'm not. Well, men. I, I Stereotypically. I quietly seethe. I've got grudges for years, man. Women, if we really fucking hate each other, sitting us down to talk it out is only going to end in felony charges. <laughs> um. The, the, the uh, Detective Willis uh, says the pastor and the youth pastor had thought, maybe we could get them together, hash this out, and fix it before it escalates. Of course, it just made it worse, I think. According to Willis, the straw that broke the camel's back was an argument over a T-shirt Haywood was wearing. Okay. A, a T-shirt was a shoot. It doesn't mention what was on the T-shirt. But it was a shooting offense. Haywood would only say, we had a disagreement. When we sat down to talk, I called her out and she lost it. According to authorities, Melinda walked out of the church during the disagreement, went to her car in the parking lot where she got her handgun. Really? At the church! At the church! At the church! At the house! <laughs> Holy ground, McLeod! Because we all know... That as Jesus said, if thy neighbor's garment offends you, go and get thy fucking gun. Get thy gat. Um, that that isn't a Southern Baptist Bible. <laughs> Probably. I'm telling you. Uh, realizing what she attended, Earl <laughs> Earl and followed her outside. Willis reports Pastor Tony intercepted his wife before she was able to come back inside the church and attempted to wrestle the gun out of her hand. Weapon fired a single shot. Nobody was hurt. Haywood, who was leaving the church when the gun discharged, called the police and told them she was Tony's intended target. Department reviewed parking lot surveillance video, but could not determine whether the pistol was aimed at Haywood before it was fired. 
Miss Tony, oh, this is this is the best part. Mrs. Tony owned the handgun legally with a concealed carry permit. You just love Jesus so much you had to pop a cap in a bitch. Wow. Over Come a on. You just described the crusades. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping. Oh, we're gonna get comments. <laughs> No, over a freaking, over a, f over a t-shirt. What is going on in this I shirt? That t-shirt had a cartoon of you fucking Barack Obama up the ass. And I only use Barack Obama because I know Southern Baptist white people hate him so much. I don't care. You're the fucking pastor's wife. Maybe you should ask your husband what Jesus has to say about fucking shooting people. It's not, it's not like you, you can't like kill the other pastor's wife and like gain a rank. It's not like no. a Klingon ship. It's not how that works. You know, you, you, you're still, I mean, <laughs> good God. Maybe it was like an Elizabeth Warren shirt. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of want to know what's on the shirt. I do want to know, too. This sounds like a glorious Gemstones episode. You know, I caught the last 10 minutes of that show the other night, and yes, it sounds exactly like a glorious Gemstones episode. What is glorious? Show, it's this awful... Oh. I mean, I, I've watched 10 minutes, but it looks awful on HBO. It's got John Goodman and Danny McBride, who I just never find funny, yeah. and Adam Devine, and they play like... The, a family that runs a mega church. Ah, uh, yeah, I've heard of that one. Yeah, yeah. Except they all like hate each other. Ah, uh, yeah. And this sounds like a plot from that show. It really does. It really could be. Yeah, they'll probably do it next week. <sighs> last one tonight, and we got video. And the reason this is the last one tonight is, folks, we're gonna try and help out the authorities. So I want you to. If you're in the Indianapolis area, I want you to watch this video. Are we doing RDA's Most Wanted? I guess we kind of are. You know, this is a thing we do now. All right, put that there. I'll give you the story here. Can you imagine if that's what we got famous for? If we caught some fucking idiot? <laughs> Police are asking for the public's help to identify a woman who destroyed a local gas station. On Indianapolis Northeast Side, over a $10 hold charge on her credit card. Uh, police say the woman in the video walked up to the cash register around 6 p.m. on Friday, asked her to put $10 on pump four, but made a mistake and went back inside to change it to pump five. Clerk told her it would take 24 hours for the charge to be reversed, so she got angry, started tearing down shelves. And breaking the doors. We say the woman caused an estimated $2,500 to $3,000 in damages inside the store. If you have any information about her identification, contact IMPD Detective Ivan Ivanoff at ivan.ivanoff at indy.gov. She's just not having it. Oh, well, he locked her in. She's not having it. Oh, what is she going to do? I'm, like, watching to figure out what she's going to do next. Like, I've been in a position where $10 could make or break me. Like, where $10 determined whether I eat tomorrow. Yeah, because and not, not only that, if you are if you get overdrawn by $10, $10 that's like, right. what, and it costs you 50 Like, I, yeah. I, I get that that is incredibly frustrating, but... What's going to cost you more money is bail and a lawyer. Oh, yeah. And damages. Yeah. I, she, she smashed it's not her case in the long run. Wowzers. That's oh, not. They locked, and that's bold. So, I would have let her walk out. So they I would don't... not have locked her in. I would have been like, okay, bye. Let's so see, I'm gonna see if she gets through the door. She get away. Yeah, how did she get away if they locked her in? I is she gonna do a Kool Aid Man? I was how just is, saying maybe the maybe the cops took like two hours to show up. or Maybe something. like how is there a manhunt when they locked her in the building? I, I am on pins and needles here. Yes, yeah, she's still free. And yes, the detective Ivan Ivanov. I'm not kidding. 
That's a name. Ivan Ivanov. That's a, that's a real human person's name, huh? Yep. Detective Ivan Ivanov. She's, That's like definitely the name that like some LARPer playing their first character it's uses. Like Boris Badenov's second cousin. Yeah. Everybody's just keeping their distance from her. She's flipping people off. She's doing that. <laughs> she's doing that angry wander that people I do. I guarantee you these people do not get paid enough to lock her in the store. No. I'm like, no. Let her go. Fuck now, it. There, there's a video from St. Louis of a guy who robbed a bar and there's a guy just like lights up a cigarette with a gun in his face like daring the guy to shoot him and we just, don't see how she gets out what y'all y'all are just different in missouri yes what we it's don't get to, planet down there we don't get to see yeah, i don't know how she got out how did she escape that's anticlimactic it doesn't tell you it doesn't tell us how the hell did she leave i kicked through a window once I had a bruise on the back of my calf this big for a whole fucking summer. Well, if if I've this, Detective Ivanov needs your help. Detective Ivan Ivanov. Ivan Ivanov. <laughs> who is absolutely a real person and not protection at all. Uh I Ivan Ivanov. Um Sure you are, honey. Uh, why do they need help identifying her? They gave, she gave them her credit card. It should have her name. It should. That is that is just good, lady. Come on. This I is get not, it. Like that ten dollars can right. fuck you up. I get it, but that's not the answer. Because you just <laughs> it sucks. Oh, they can't do anything about it. Listen, I'm going to like tell you the guy, the guy jockey in the register literally can't do anything about it for you. It's not his fault. I'm going to give you guys a life lesson here that's important and you need to know it. All right. Some days it's just your turn. Yeah. OK, that that some days um, the bird's going to shit on your head. Some days you're going to get hit the bump from behind in the middle of traffic. Some while day, you're holding your coffee. While you're holding your damn coffee. Some days... Okay, her name just comes up on the wheel of fuckery. That's just the universe, man. Some days, it's it's your day in the barrel. You just... Yeah. You gotta... It's gonna happen. Accept it and move on because that is life. That is how this works. Nobody likes it. No. But it's just the way the universe is. Because if you try to go against it hard enough, you will lose. Because it's not like you're trying to, to to fight to save a child's life. It's not like you're trying to you know stop end world hunger. It's ten dollars. The 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 hill you're gonna die on is a ten dollar overcharge on your credit card. Yeah. You're not exactly going to rally many to your cause. In fact, no. you're going to rally no. That's the biggest problem with doing this. No, you're, you're not William Wallace. No. No one is coming to your aid. No, it's... it's Gondor has lit the signal fires. <laughs> not, not how that works, no. And everyone's like... Yeah, no, no. Standing Rohan's like, you know what? Because if you watch people in that video, everyone in that video just like pretended like it wasn't happening and also yeah. got the fuck as far away as they could. Goddamn right. <laughs> she was throwing whole displays. That was th th that is a whole bowl of not my circus, not my monkeys. Do not want to be part of that. So that that is the first thing we've Balls learned. On its employees to lock her in the store. <laughs> yeah, it's like. That I do brass ones. The first thing we learned this week is some days it's your turn. You just got to accept, understand the stakes involved. Okay. If yeah. it's one of these low stakes, little, wow, that sucks. What a shitty day you had. Accept it with grace and move on. That's all you got to battles. Yeah. Pick your battles. You know, are, are, are you trying to, you know, defuse a nuclear bomb or. Did they close the store just as you were driving up? You know, kind of figure out where you're going to invest your energy. Um, 
we've learned that uh i guess in the the southern baptist tradition jesus had a lax uh policy on firearms american christianity is so fucked up dude tell me about it i was raised southern baptist i i was i i got backstage on all this stuff oh my god if american christians actually met jesus they would fucking hate him oh yeah oh yeah yeah well he's brown he's brown he's fucking socialist he's nonviolent. doesn't speak english they hate, that guy. they hate him um he was a refugee we've learned that uh if you're really 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 drunk and you get need food the place you go is waffle house okay it's very easy to find every down here it's every five feet there's a giant it's confusing because it has house in the name but that doesn't mean that any house is waffle house you cannot miss it the sign is like 20 feet tall big yeah. yellow letters yellow and and ugly black. yeah you cannot miss the waffle house it's that's what it's there for that's if why i understand was... waffle house correctly there's probably cops outside because a fight has happened recently um, we've learned that Costco sells $28,000 diamond rings. That just, that just makes no sense to me. Do they sell them on a pallet is my question. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. You know? I don't think they have those stacked and wrapped in saran wrap. Um, we've learned that if you get arrested for meth, don't try and sell your daughter down the, down the river in your place. God. It's probably not going to work. And black eyeliner is a scalpel, not a hammer. <laughs> Gonna use that shit judiciously. And finally this week we've learned, we don't steal what the people are giving away for free. It's sand. It's a bag and it's sand. And you stole it. You stole a bag of sand. You're going to jail. Like, at least that other chick stole a $28,000 ring. That's worth it. You stole a bag full of sand. You stole dirt. You stole dirt. You stole fancy dirt. I, the, the, I don't understand. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I'm just trying to picture the judge's face when he reads this. I'm just realizing I've got to send you to jail for stealing dirt. Yeah. I mean, that judge retires. <laughs> you know I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I thought I was going to help people. I love, I, I love not only was there a guy stealing the dirt, he had a lookout for stealing the sand. 